Hello, my name is Ryan Gates and I'm a counselor in student financial services. Thank you for joining me today. In this video, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, the difference between dropping a class and withdrawing from a class and how that may affect your financial aid and your billing. So the, the big difference between those two is when you are no longer attending the class. And that's going to dictate whether you're dropping the class or withdrawing from the class and how that may affect your billing and your financial aid. So dropping a class is going to occur when you're going to receive a refund for your tuition and fees. That's going to come in the form of potentially 100% refund of tuition and fees for the class or down to 50% or 25%, all depending on when you are no longer attending that class. And you can go to the Student Financial Services um, webpage under tuition refunds. You will see here there's the refund schedule. It'll vary from year to year, but here you can go and you can see, okay, if I drop a class during this date, what type of refund can I get? And when dropping a class, there is going to be the potential that this could affect your financial aid. If you drop a class and stay between 12 and 19 credits, you're still going to be considered full-time. It's not going to affect your billing and it's not going to affect your financial aid. But if you drop below 12 credits, so if you're going to be 11 credits or less, this is something that can affect your billing and it also can affect your financial aid. So I highly recommend before dropping a class to reach out to your academic advisor, have a conversation with them, and also have a conversation with us here in Student Financial Services to see how that may affect your financial aid. So. The next step is withdrawing from a class and what would happen when you withdraw from the class. Well, the difference here is you're no longer going to receive a refund for the tuition or fees um, for dropping that class, or excuse me, for withdrawing that class. And it's just a matter of date. So once you've gone past that refund period, that's when you're gonna get into a withdrawal. And once you withdraw from the class, as I mentioned, you're not going to receive a refund for tuition or fees during that period. So your billing is not going to change, nor is your financial aid going to change. So your financial aid is going to remain the same. Whether you drop a class when you're still between 12 and 19 credits, so you're still in that full-time time frame, or if you drop less than full-time, you're still going to be considered what we call attempting full-time. You're still going to be charged at a full-time rate and your financial aid is not going to be affected. On that note, one thing I do want to mention with the withdrawals is there is something that can be affected and that's called your um, ac satisfactory academic progress. And within your satisfactory academic progress, you have to meet a certain completion rate um, in order to continue to receive financial aid. And that completion rate is 67% or higher. So this is where it's really important to reach out to financial aid, to the student financial services office, excuse me, to have that conversation. I'm considering withdrawing from a class. How may this affect my financial aid? And we'll have that conversation with you. So that's really the difference between dropping a class and withdrawing from a class, when it happens and how it may affect your financial aid. This once again is a great resource, this website here. I showed you the um, schedules. You can look into that a little bit more. And then on the right hand side of this page, you have the UVM refund and billing adjustments policy, along with the add drop and withdrawal deadlines. So thank you very much for joining me in this video. And please reference our um, videos at uvm.edu backslash student financial services backslash orientation. And you will find several very helpful videos there as well. Thank you very much and have a great day.